Let's take a look at uh, Sam and let me introduce you to him for a second. <laughs> Sam is a great guitar player. This is his two-year-old son who is uh, really contributing. Sam is a guy of a lot of talents. Um, he, uh, he did a master in English. Of course, what do you do with a master of English? You go to China and basically teach, and then you go into market research, and then you basically find out uh, that you have to hire a lot of people, and that what they do in their free time, going online and talking about a lot of different things, is a lot more interesting, the opinions they have, than what they do officially for you. So uh, Sam started a company going on the, on the whispering, whispering of the internet, uh, of the internet uh, user. Uh, about 50 people working there, 15 RMB, you know, 50 million RMB. Uh, fantastic intelligent uh, investors in his company. One of the person was Mark, uh, who basically uh, went into it. And Sam was a great producer, a great um, um, uh, speaker. So we are very glad that he came to uh, the Netherlands to talk about how to do the whispering, how to listen to the whisper of the internet consumer. So Sam, I will uh, stop this uh, okay. stop this wonderful s f uh, show of self-expression of your son, and okay. the floor is yours. Appreciate okay, it. Thank you. Okay. So everyone can hear me okay? Okay. 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 Well, um, I was very, uh, very happy to hear uh, actually Z's presentation, because I think a lot of what I'm going to say or talk about is gonna gonna follow on really well with what, what she said and even dig deeper, especially around the, the element of self expression, because um, that's really something that uh, that at CIC, my company, that, that we take a lot a lot of uh, a time to, 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 to look at. And just to give you a very quick introduction to CIC, because I think BBDO it's an advertising agency. You understand what that what that is, but CIC we're an internet word of mouth research and cons consulting firm. So that may not be so obvious clear what, uh, what we actually do. Um, so essentially on blogs and on something called BBS, which is an online message board or online forums, there's lots of talk. Okay? And there's lots of talk with consumers about brands, products, and services. And so what we've done is we've, we, we've uh, created a technology that can capture those messages and make sense of them for, for our clients. And I think BBS, I want to talk a second about BBS because that's quite an important thing to understand in China. Um, is a BBS is a bulletin board system. And typically BBS in China, are, they're organized by topics. So for example, he, this is an, exa of, uh, an example of a mobile phone BBS where people are talking about mobile phones. And you can go to a mobile phone BBS and you can choose, say, the brand Nokia. And you can choose N95 for the model. And then all the conversations, all the questions in that N95 form are about the N95 from users or potential users. Uh, this is a, an example from, the, I think, a Sony Ericsson form talking about the, the 800i. But people will ask questions, and other people will answer. And what's interesting is that in China, uh, these BBS forms are massive. Uh, mobile phone industry. Every month we collect 2.5 million messages for consumers writing about their experiences around mobile f using mobile phones. Automobile, 5.5 million messages written by about 300,000 people every month talking about automobiles. So that's, uh, I think that's, this is something that's quite, again Z talked about self-expression. I think there's a lot of self-expression online, but there's self-expression around uh, brands, products, and services. And so that's something that we've we set up the technology to collect those messages, also to automatically mine or categorize those messages. We also have a team of analysts who will take all that data and make sense of it for our clients. And we work with clients like Pepsi and Nike and other you know, multinational brands. And we've been doing it longer than any, anyone else. And so these are the, the kind of companies we work with. So that's, that's the perspective of where we're coming from. The commercial's over. I just wanted to give you a sense of what we do, and it, it will give you an, a better understanding of, um, kind of what the kind of things that, we're gonna be, that I'm going to be talking about. Um, so 
let's take a second at iWOM culture. iWOM is internet word of mouth, what we talked about, BBS and blogs. And uh, Z talked a little bit about uh, the earthquake. And look at the function of uh, a BBS during the, the earthquake, or the aftermath of the earthquake. Interesting story. Um, in the uh, Weichuan, which is the, the epicenter, okay, uh, it was in the news that the military couldn't find a good place to, uh, a flat place to land a helicopter. So a student, in, a college student in, in Beijing from that area posted a message on a BBS saying that she knew exactly where they, they could land the helicopter because she was from that, that small town. So she posted on BBS and within hours that, that message was copy and pasted into other BBS, into blogs, on MSN, and eventually uh, the, the military or the, the relief agency called her because she can see that she left her mobile phone number uh, in the BBS message. And so BBS during the earthquake actually became a place where people were sharing, of course, the latest updates about the tragedy, but also sharing information about how, how people could help other people and even find other people. So, you know, BBS became a place to share information. Blogs became a place where people prayed. As a nation, as a nation, uh, people were feeling, of course, very sad, and they, they, they grieved online, and it, the place where they grieved was actually on blogs. If you do a search on a blog search engine in China for earthquake and pray, you could find over 334,000 articles where people expressed you know, earthquake and prayer. And so you know, this, during this, this horrible tragedy, the internet became the central platform that brought the country together to share information on BBS, uh, to grieve on blogs. And companies like uh, uh, Google actually created special applications to leverage all of this information being posted by consumers. They, they created a special uh, search application that would go into all of these BBS forums to help people find any mention of their relatives, okay, or any mention of their hometown so they could find out if their relatives were safe. Because people were posting messages saying, you know, I've, you know I'm okay, you know, don't, you know pe my friends and family, please don't worry about me. So you could do a, a search on Google to, through all of these BBS forums where people were posting information about the different, different areas that were hit. And so that you can more efficiently uh, find that information instead of going to all, every, you know, every different uh, BBS form. So you can see that you know, the fact that with the internet, and especially internet word of mouth, became a central part of the grieving and the information sharing experience around the, the, the earth the earthquake, I think, shows the special place of the, the internet. All in all, there were, on the, on the big portals, Sina, Sohu, Netties, and QQ, where they had news articles. Every news article in China, you can leave a comment. Okay. There were about 10 million comments posted during the first week after the earthquake to any news article. There were over um, 233 blog posts 233,000 blog posts uh, with over 2.36 billion page views and 12.6 million comments. That just gives you a, a taste of the, the, uh, the volume of user-generated content or, or of uh, internet word of mouth in China. Okay. So this was all, all around the earthquake.